Say by me. Head coach Tony Campbell with Chris DeMay on the left, Shane Gore on the right. And opening statement and take questions. Uh, another, that was a good day. Um, good win. We were, obviously we came out ready to play and that was great. Um, defensively, very good in the first quarter. Um, I thought we, uh, you know, we talked for the last, really we didn't have a lot of time between the Evansville game, but um, in the turnaround, we talked a lot about ball movement. We were much better moving the basketball today. Um, you know, 24 assists, um, that's, that's a good day. Uh, too many turnovers, that's probably, but really the only thing on here that's a little bit scary is that turnover number. Um, we actually have not turned it over at all. I might have jinxed us the other day because I told our girls we're not. So I'll, uh, I'll take the blame for that, and then I won't say anything else. Um, you know, I told them in the huddle there, we can shoot again. Because we have lost, we had lost that. We found it. That's that's good. Um, this this ought to be a good shooting team. Um, I think our ball movement helped. You know, we didn't settle for early tough jump shots. Um, and uh, you know, at, it, when you look at this, um, we had the right ones taking them, and uh, you know, made 16 of them. So that's a that's that's a pretty good day. Coach, you guys got the latest on the game and never give it back up. Um, what did you do throughout the game to keep your team's foot on the gas pedal? Well, I, I think that that was really important. You know, we've been playing from behind I mean, almost all year. Behind, 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 behind. And, uh, you know, we looked more relaxed all day. Um, you know, that that's a credit to them. I, I really didn't know that I did anything. I did not do anything different. I mean, but it seemed to me like we um, – We've rela we relaxed a little bit. We went into the game with the right mentality. I think we were focused and ready to play. Um, you know, and it, it definitely showed. And then throughout, you know, second quarter, if I, you know, that one, second quarter wasn't very good. Um, we really got wild in the second quarter. Um, you know, they sped us up, but we really just sped up ourselves. You know, they did press a little bit. They pressured a little bit, but not that much. And, uh, you know, we, we just, I guess we haven't seen that in a couple games, and um, you know, it, I, I don't know that it. Probably, if we ran back out there and played again, um, I think we'd probably handle the pressure better. So, um, you know, we got to get that little part cleaned up. But for the most part, it was there was a lot more good than than, than bad out there. Shane, you got off to a hot start in the first, and then Chris, then you ended up finishing the game six for six and three. What was working for you guys out there, um, and how did you guys? Use that force spacing that you guys created to um, keep that energy going for the entire game. Uh, we've the past two days, or past day, or maybe in practice all week, we've really worked on ball movement out of our offense, and that's what really gets me, Christian, TP, uh, some of our shooters going. We can move the ball, find open shots, and uh, when you kick out and see a person shoot, and it just really gives you the momentum. I mean, that's how. It, that's how it is for me. You know, once the shot goes in, it gives me momentum. But then I look for other people like Kristen tonight. I mean, she was hitting and making threes. So when you got a team like that, it's really, we're really hard to beat. Yeah, I think that, like she said, the ball movement, like that we've been practicing since that Evansville game. Coaches just talked about like we need to focus in more. Like we're just restarting the season. Like let's have a fresh start. And I think that we really bought into that. Like ever since that he said that. And, I think we executed it pretty well tonight. We, we've improved over the last, um, you know, we, we weren't real sharp against Appalachian State. And, uh, you know, I think, I, you know, she said focus. I think mentality as much as anything as a group and then individually, you know, we, we, need, we needed to calm down and get focused on the right stuff. And, uh, you know, I, I think that, uh, I think that over the last couple of days we've really grown in that respect. There will be people will challenge us, you know. Probably Tuesday at Wisconsin, they'll be they'll they'll put some stress on us. They'll put some stress on us individually and as a group. And we need to hold on to the gains that we've made in terms of being calm and what is what do we need to do right now to uh, you know to recenter ourselves. Whatever it is, the adversity that hits in a basketball game. Um, hopefully, we've grown over the last couple of games. In handling that, coach, obviously the three balls were working for you today. Uh, you mentioned earlier that second, um, you guys didn't hit a free for the entire second until Taylor hit that 1.6 seconds left. 
um, and that she had the end one as well. So you guys ended up going to the half up eight versus up four. What's different from what you're telling your team up eight versus up four? Well, that was a big shot. Probably nothing is the answer. I mean, I think I told Taylor, big shot. Um, you know, but I was, I guess if we make that or not, I was going to be frustrated with our, our uh, wildness, I guess, that we played with in the second quarter no matter what. But that was a big play, you know. Um, Shayna made it, you know, Shayna had nine assists, career high in assists, anybody know? I mean, I definitely, I mean, I, that's probably the most made threes we've ever had without a miss. Um, you know, Kristen tonight, in terms of school, th different things that have gone on with Marshall women's basketball, but, um, you know, her pass to Taylor to find her, you know, we tried to get in a little set. Um, we, we were, they pressed us into it. We were a little erratic. And she, instead of forcing something, she got her head up, skipped it across, maybe with her left hand. You throw that with your left hand? I mean, all the way across the floor with her left hand to TP, and, and TP drained it. And, uh, you know, that was a big little, little uh, that was a big sequence, I think, to kind of grab back some momentum and a little bit of calm. Um, you know, side note, I, I thought Taylor Porter was, was back. You know, I turned on the sidelines, said, TP's back. That's a good thing. You know, she, she, uh, I guess she sat for a year, and she looked like old TP tonight. She was bouncy. Uh, she was running around. Um, she was fiery. And, and, you know, we need that. We need that back. I, I think she'll can only continue to play better, you know. But. What are you going to work on with your team this weekend in Wisconsin? Well, we, we've got, you know, we're, we're going to have a quick turnaround again. Uh, we fly up there on Monday. Uh, Big Ten team would be a huge challenge. Uh, they're off to a good start this year. Um, you know, I, I guess I said this the other day, we'll walk up the stairs and start figuring that out right now. But, um, you know, it, it'll be, it should be a fun environment for our players to play in. Um, I want them to stay together. I want them to compete um, really hard. And, uh, and we need to execute on both ends of the floor, you know, just put our head down and grind, put our heads down and grind. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll go to work over the next 40 hours to get ready to go do that. Kristen, this your best ball game here from a performance standpoint? Um, I guess if you look at the scoring column, probably like I think that is the highest, but overall, I mean, there were definitely mistakes that I made throughout the game. I mean, I think I had several turnovers, but you know, all that matters really is what it says on the scoreboard at the end of the game. We won, so we're happy. She'll get that cleaned up. I mean, she'll, it, it bothers her. Um, she's right. That, that's pretty, pretty good self-reflection right there. Um, pretty good answer. You know, scoring-wise, she was pretty fantastic. Um, and then there's some areas that, um, you know, she's got to continue to grow. But, you know, she's, got, she's young in her career. She's had the ball in her hands a lot. With that is, you know, I guess she has played in a lot of games. She's had the ball in her hands a lot. And yet, this is her 35th game or something like that. And she's going to play 120. So um, she'll use today, and she'll grow from it. Kristen, what does it do for you knowing that you've had one of your bigger games since you've been here going into one of your all's tough stunts on schedule? Well, I don't think it's really like a personal thing. I think that we just got to keep the momentum going. like. We just won two in a row, and we hope to make it three. Different feeling today? More like more confident today than maybe you've been in some of your previous games? Um, I think that the past, the last game in Evansville, I didn't shoot very well from the field. And so today, before the game, you know, we do our little shooting routine, and coach was trying to hype me up a little bit, you know, get my head right. And don't worry about the past, just focus on today and that's just what I did. You know, Coach Milinkovic told me she stroked it in warm-ups. He told me that. You know, he, he said, I thought TP shot looked really good. Uh, Shane was here too early for me to watch her. Um, you know, but he, he walked, that's the first thing he said, I'd run something to, to Chris. You know, and, um, we actually did that early. Didn't step out of bounds, right? Yeah. Knocked yes. it in and we were off to a good start. Yes. I was so happy. Anything else? First time that you won two in a row. I have no idea. I have no idea. I know I have not won as many as I want. So, uh, but it, hey, I'll take it. Feels good. Feels good. And they're playing, but we're playing better. You know, do we have it all solved? Heck no. Um, 
Can we get a lot better? Yes, absolutely. And I, I mean, that's my, that's my continual message to them. We are a, we're going to, if they will work and they'll buy in, which they have, they'll continue to get better and better and better and better and better. They're still trying to figure out who, all, me too, who all goes together, you know, and how we, who shoots it with what lineup and who needs to help us play defense and who's got to rebound when they're in the, I mean, we're trying to figure all that out. And um, we are starting to, we're starting to. Thank you. Thank you.